Hello, Nico2064 here, back in another video, and today I'm going to show you what I got from the FX Game Store, again. Um, so, let's get into this. Wow, rough intro. Um, but the first figure I got was Ethan Hunt, uh, from LEGO Dimensions, or Mission Impossible, you know, technically. So here's Ethan Hunt, and, uh, there are a lot of reasons I like this figure, but, uh, mainly the arms, which I don't even know if they've come in another set in this, uh, dual-molded... Uh, without printing, at least. Um, but yeah, that's easily the most useful part. I needed those, you know? Maybe if I ever want to switch my sig fig into, um, a different, uh, or my actual skin tone, you know? Uh, then I could use those. But the torso's also great. You know, I could see using that for some customs. Definitely looks very, um, you know, winter soldier almost. So maybe a future design of that, maybe. Um, and the face is pretty cool. I could use this for, like, um, first order officers or something. I like that, um, side piece there. And, of course, the Tom Cruise face, which is awesome. <laughs> I love that. You know, that's just usable for so many characters. So, you know, that's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this figure. Now on to the next one. The next figure I got was, uh, classic Harley Quinn from, like, the earlier, uh, 20 teens, um, era. So here's the Harley Quinn minifigure. Um, and I always wanted this kind of classic, uh, costume for her, because I never actually got one. My, uh, Harley Quinn minifigures have been from recent years, um, because that's when I started buying more DC. Um, but mainly from the Lego Batman movie, where I love that design, but, you know, it's just not the same. But, yeah, I always wanted this, um, because, um, this was featured, or, you know, kind of in the video game, uh, Lego Batman the video game. Um, and I always loved that as a kid, so... You know, this kind of is special. Um, but of course, you know, there's some like, I don't know what to say, like damage on the face, but you know, who cares about that? Um, and the rest of the design is, you know, older, so, um, you know, it, the printing's not as good as nowadays, but, you know, like, especially with the hip right there, it's just, wow. <laughs> but yeah, still, um, it's pretty impressive for, uh, an older minifigure because, like, um, this, uh, hat, you know, they couldn't do a lot of that back then, but, you know, uh, and you can see, you know, the face, you know, it's not great, but who cares, um, uh, and the back printing is pretty cool, you know, obviously with some differences, but, you know, um, so yeah, I love this minifigure, uh, it would be kind of cool to, like, upgrade it with maybe my Miles Morales Incredibles arm method or something like that, um, but, you know, whatever, uh, maybe if I... I don't know, maybe if I have the pieces someday, I'll might, you know, do an upgraded version, but who knows. Still a great minifigure. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, you know, I know I've been getting a lot of, like, older minifigures lately, but, you know, there's not much out, um, right now that I want in, like, modern Lego sets, um, but, you know, hopefully that'll change soon, because uh, there are some cool sets coming out. Um, but yeah, uh, tell me which figure you liked more, um, and yeah. 2064, signing off.